Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, Disney is kind of on a roll, kind of on a roll with their live action adaptations. You know, Dumbo came out in March and whoof, could not fly. In fact, it kind of crashed and burned like the Hindenburg, so much so that it's already out on home video. Right? It's already out on home video and uh, probably no one's going to buy it because uh, no one saw it in theaters. But they've also got Aladdin, and Aladdin just hit 800 million worldwide. So it's on its way to doing uh, doing pretty well. 300 million just here in the United States, which is pretty fantastic for a Memorial Day opening uh, that, uh, that, uh, that saw Solo kind of crash and burn last year. But anyway, here's what we're going to be talking about today. Mulan and uh, some rumors surrounding it. And, and, and this is bad if true. It is, it is very, very bad if true. But first things first, here's the thing. If you guys support the channel, if you guys like what I do, please consider becoming a patron. Um, you can come over here, get access to the Discord. We're going to be working on doing some monthly events and whatnot when I get home from Comic-Con in a few weeks, setting that thing up. And it really does help the channel, helps it grow, all that jazz. And so I really would appreciate it if you guys want to help that out. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo. Link is in the video description. Anyway, back to this uh, this dis insider rumor. Now, this is a rumor and needs to be maintained as such. Saying exclusive Phoenix possibly replacing Mushu in Mulan cast will not even sing classic songs. Now, this is not the first time we've heard rumors about the about the song choices in the film. We've heard rumors before that the, that they weren't going to do this anyway. The fact that this pops up what feels like over a year later is pretty uh, uh, pretty concerning overall. Now, it says here that the Dis Insider has exclusively learned new details about Mulan's live action adaptation, which is currently in post production. We reported several months back that the film would feature some music from the animated classic and that Mushu would be appearing. But Disney has decided to go in a new direction regarding those decisions. A source close to us has seen the film and reports that a phoenix replaced Mulan's beloved sidekick Mushu. And that while music from the animated film will be included in the remake, the songs will not be sung by the cast as the music is just instrumentals. As time progresses, Disney will very likely use test screenings to gauge what changes, if any, need to be made to uh, via, via reshoots and post production. Uh, the movie is directed by Nikki Caro, a star Jason Scott Lee, uh, Yusan An, uh, Erktash Amber. I, I can't even. Hey, Jet Lee's going to be in it. So is Donnie Yen. All right, cool beans. I'm down for that one, right? Uh, no, Michelle Yeoh. I'm not going to lie. That's a little bit uh, not too pleased with that one there. So this is bad if this is true because. What worked very well for these live action adaptations, right? What did Dumbo do that, that let's say Aladdin didn't do? Well, Dumbo has the issue of trying to be a more darker, somber tale. I mean, Dumbo is in essence, a darker, more somber tale about an elephant learning to fly and everything else. But they also focus a lot on the human characters and even Bill Burr, right? Bill Burr says he took his daughter to go see it thinking, oh, it's Dumbo. It's what I grew up with this Dumbo. And he, he gets like 15 minutes in and he realizes she's the only kid there and that this movie is not aimed at children. And it was one of those ones that, yeah, just kind of failed to fly. Uh, pun intended. And then you get Aladdin and Aladdin really just changed up some of the contemporary takes and some of the contemporary jokes, and it brought in Will Smith as the genie, but the energy level stayed roughly the same, and that seemed to resonate well with audiences. With The Lion King, they've already released a clip of, uh, you know, uh, Can You Feel the Love Tonight uh, between Beyonce and Donald Glover, and that already is like just melting box office sales. This movie is going to make a billion and a half, no freaking problem. I wouldn't be surprised if The Lion King goes and pulls in two billion. I'm not even making that up. I would not be surprised. But you have to, if you look there, it is playing it close to the source material, right? It's playing it close to the source material. That seems to work out well. You can't redo Aladdin with Robin Williams because it's been five years since he tragically passed. So there's no way to do that. You know, look at the Jungle Book. The Jungle Book played it close to the source material. Uh, Pete's Dragon is kind of a hard one to remake because it's like, well, for one, it just... The movie itself, the original is too good, too good to remake, in my opinion, um, but it still kind of failed to connect with audiences, you know, and and there's been some some hit or misses with these things. I think Maleficent is going to be a uh, failure when it comes out this fall, but the music, you know, the music has got to be in this movie. Make a man out of you is a great song, 
right? Eddie Murphy as Mushu was a great character. If you don't, if we don't know about Mushu and the voice actor playing them right now because of how much Eddie Murphy was used in the marketing of Mulan back 21 years ago when that film came out, then you know that there was a problem. If they replace Mushu with a phoenix, first off, duh, are you doing now, there's the symbolism there that I understand, right? The idea of Mulan uh, kind of reinventing herself into this, this, this male soldier in order to go and fight in this war. Like, I get that. I get that whole thing. But that's kind of doing a disservice to the original property, which is what you're attempting to recreate. You know, it just feels really dumb to me to, to get rid of, uh, of a dragon and replace it with a phoenix, are you trying to be Harry Potter? We've because that's what people are going to assume when it comes to the Phoenix and when it comes to the concept of the Phoenix in modern pop culture, you are strictly, strictly looking at Harry Potter and the order of the Phoenix and just the Phoenix in general underneath the sorting hat and, and Dumbledore's thing. And especially with, uh, with, with the crimes of Grindelwald coming out last year and the Phoenix being a part of that, like that's, that's where the pop culture understanding of Phoenix is right now. And I, I think this is, I think this is so dumb. Uh, I think it's so, so, so dumb, but here's the deal. What do I know, right? I'm not part of Disney's marketing team. Maybe they thought that uh, having a dragon would be considered too scary. Maybe kids wouldn't understand it. Maybe kids better understand the Phoenix because of Harry Potter. I got no idea. I got no freaking idea at all, but they are, if this is true, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's dumb. And uh, uh, I think if you're going to get rid of, of a great sidekick character, and replace it with one that the fuck's a phoenix gonna do? Part of Mushu's character is that Mushu could hide. Where's the where's a phoenix gonna go? It's a gigantic fiery damn bird. <sighs> Who knows? This is a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. Who knows? Anyway, your thoughts, your opinions, let me know down in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.